It's the Mini Cooper. This is Mr. Bean's car. So we're gonna make Mr. Bean go on a wild holiday. Brace yourself. It's pretty good. My game plan mostly is to hug the corner walls because then I can get like a better turn because this car really struggles with turning. Like, we're hitting barriers and we're still going like a hundred miles an hour. These other guys keep getting in the way. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. I, I've set up a Mr. Bean soundboard. Hello. 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 Uh, it does come with some really, re really nice ones too as part of the soundboard. For instance, he has like a scream and agony he'll do. <laughs> oh god, when it's not like the, go the, the James Bond mu music, I'm not playing nearly as well. You're Mr. Bean now. The name's Bean. Mr. Bean. <laughs> it's not quite the same ring to it, is it? Oh god. Oh, Mr. Bean! <laughs> He's not- he's not surviving that one. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Bean. Just fear along the sides again. He- he's gonna die. <laughs> Remember the episode of Mr. Bean where Rowan Atkinson gets thrown through the windshield of his car? <laughs> no wonder it stopped Harry. Look, there's no turning in this car. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Okay, we just need to just go accelerate into the corner. <laughs> we'll get around it. Just accelerate on the turns. Mr. Bean's in for a world of pain, but like, it's the only way to win the race. <laughs> Every time he hits this. It's just like grating against the side. Okay, I can gain some speed on this corner here. Just keep turning! Mr. Bean fucking dies, not clickbait. You know, I, I, there's him be, pretending to be a dentist. There's him being a hairdresser. And then there's like the three car collision he got into. Like, I, I have this I've won sound effect, but. I've won, I've We're won, not going I've to get the playlist. I think a lot of these come from, like, a lot of these sound effects come from, like, old Nokia ringtones, because there was this one among them. Pick up the phone. Come on, pick up the phone. Pick it up, 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 pick it up. There's also this one that is un unbelievably cursed. <laughs> Like, if you have this as your ringtone, and like your phone rings on a date or something, you're just gonna be left alone. Come on, we're second! <laughs> Go, Mr. Bean! The name's Bean. Mr. Bean. Come on! Johnny English, you can do it! I caught up with the other ones, I can catch up with you! Come on! Come on! Drift! No, that's it. Ah! There's only 3%! Mr. Ah! No, they've already crossed the finish! Time. What's the top speed we can get? Oh, that's a cliff. Oh, <laughs> no! Ah! This is Mr. Bean if he was a Twitch streamer, right? Hello. <laughs> the name's Bean. Mr. Bean. Oh, thank you. This is whenever you give him bits. Thank you. And this is when chat's weird. Oi, what do you think you're doing? Trying to like wrangle you in. Someone talking in all caps in chat. All right, I need to shout. 
Someone saying uh, like like the three wheeler's a better car. Will you please shut up? Shut up! Shut up! I tell you, shut up! Stop talking! I'm trying to watch Mr. Bean. That's right, because like, Mr. Bean doesn't really speak too much English. He's kind of just makes like guttural noises. So like, do I have to like change my stream to that now? <laughs> Okay, so this is what Mr. Bean sees. This is a day in the life of him. So Rowan Atkinson gets up to... <laughs> no! I think it was just going north. <laughs> Roy, the first person perspective in games like this is it really immerses you in the experience that you are driving the car. I'm just struggling with these trees a bit. It's a bit of a jungle out here. This is what they mean by PvE games, right? It's just me and the mini versus the world. Turn left, okay. Someone remind me, I don't want to miss it. I want to make sure we make the turn. <laughs> We're almost there. I just want to play the interstellar music so bad. <laughs> Your shared photos earned have earned you the following credit rewards. 12 downloads times zero. Seven likes. I gained seven kudos. What, what was my photo? Oh, it's this one. <laughs> Been rated one star. No, wait, we'll go for a nice relaxing drive next, okay? As the bird flies. <laughs> Jesus. That bird got hit by a car. Don't worry. You're gonna make it to the birthday party, Sonny. Your old man's not gonna let you be late. I just know a cheeky shortcut, huh? We're gonna... We're gonna pull a few dad tricks here. Get you to the party on time. You okay in the back seat there, son? Gotta wear your seatbelt. I can't... I can't stress that enough. The airbag's only gonna save you once. But dad, the airbag blew an hour ago. Don't you insult the quality of this vehicle. Those are good airbags. You don't know how lucky you've got it. Some cars don't even have airbags. Okay, we're almost over the mountain. Just a little further and we'll be at the birthday party. Just a little more. You know, like the hills in Lord of the Rings before the Black Gate. Like, I feel like we're just on those. We did it. We made it to the top. I forgot to get the picture. I need to go back. Come on. Like, wish you were here in sunny Mexico. <laughs> RT is the last guy I want my Uber driver to be. I'd make a fantastic Uber driver. I know all the shortcuts. You need to get across country in five minutes, so don't worry. I know a way between the trees. You got medical insurance, yeah? No reason. No reason. No, I just want to make sure, you know, it's just a precaution. It's just something I recommend everyone to have in life. The safe house is over here somewhere, was it? Does anyone see it? Does anyone see the safe house? I'm amazed we were landing like on the tires. Instead of seatbelts, bring parachutes. You just want to put on this life jacket. It's like, but we're just going across the, 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 the hill. Yeah, I know. You never know what's going to happen on these journeys. I just like to be cautious. We can just make it look like the car is fallen from the world. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> this is why you can't import cars from there. It's just not a good idea. Party already ended. <laughs> We've just been drifting on the mountains for like the last like two days. We're running really late for the birthday, Dad. I know where I'm going. I don't need the map. Can we get McDonald's? If we survive. What, what even is the hypothetical Mr. Bean episode where this is where he ends up? 
Because it would have to stat with like a bingo hall or something like that. Like Mr. Bean is running very late to watch his favorite TV show. He's stuck in a traffic jam, but he sees there's a road closed to the left. Being Mr. Bean is like, ah. So, and like he moves like the traffic cones and drives down there, puts them back so no one's the wiser. And the reason that the road is closed off it's because the road is Mexico and there's a drag race going. No, there's a bit of a jump there. He's running late for breakfast at his hotel while he's on holiday. And it's on his way back to his hotel that he gets stuck in the traffic. But breakfast closes at 11 a.m. And it's currently 10.30. He's running late. And that's when he sees the traffic cones. Uh, he pushes them aside. And then suddenly, he finds himself in the recording studio for Fast and Furious 10. And like Vin Diesel is chasing out and just yelling something about family. Mr. Bean, not one to back down, has Teddy with him, and he just goes, family, just to Teddy. And then they have like a wacky episode um, against Dwayne The Rock Johnson and uh, Vin Diesel. And it ultimately culminates by Mr. Bean thinking he has won the race, getting out of his car, triumphantly cheering, and you hear an announcer just say, lap one. And then he checks his watch, and he's also, he missed breakfast. Q end of episode. He's going home to watch the race on TV. It ends up in the race he wanted to watch. Yes, that's perfect. He's running late to get back home so he can watch it. And he doesn't want to be late. So he moves past the cones to take a shortcut so he can get home faster. And suddenly he's in the race himself. That's an episode of Mr. Bean right there. And he's like beeping the entire time like, no. As there's all these other drivers in his way, and he's just like power sliding past them. And he just wins the race, and then just like pulls into his home so he can watch the race. <laughs> it's perfect. Get someone to storyboard this ASAP. Like, Rowan Atkinson, if you happen to be like a Twitch subscriber on my channel, if you even know what Twitch is, I've got an idea for Mr. Bean's second holiday. Oh no! <laughs> We're taking a cheeky shortcut. Let's just hope you don't actually drive like this IRL, Mr. Drift King. Oh, I absolutely do. I'm the best driver on the road. I get there faster than everyone else. <laughs> no! The Mexico Goliath is officially the biggest race by distance in Horizon history. <laughs> uh, good luck. Wonderful. Let's go. We're going for first this time. Going through Moo Moo Meadows. What? I can still get it. I can still get it. Oh, go. It's so much slower to actually turn than just crash into it. How do people race like this? Let's restart it. I'm blaming the music. I'm blaming the music. It's not hyped enough. Octopath Traveler soundtrack has been deployed. We don't use this one every day. The most epic Mr. Bean has ever been. Mr. Bean's life is on the line. If he loses the race, he like dies. Word finally caught up that like he destroyed that painting in the Mr. Bean movie. Will Mr. Bean succeed? Or is this it for him? You know, it's kind of weird. There's only been like two Mr. Bean movies and like 15 episodes. It feels like there's like 40 episodes or something or seasons. Can he win the rat race? I thought I forgot about that movie, didn't you? There actually is a movie with Rowan Atkinson in it, where the premise is they're all racing. And he plays a guy who keeps saying, like, I want to win the race. This could be the start of the triumphant return. Mr. Bean's gonna up his game. The full saga of Mr. Bean. They're still on that map. And as long as they're there, there's a chance we can catch up a little here. Oh boy. Try that again. It's okay, that's the best way I could have made that corner. That's the best way I could have made that one too. <laughs> I could do this in the Aston Mark. I could do it if I wasn't Mr. Bean, if I was James Bond again. Oh my god! That's the end. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, what a waste of time.